Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Today, I would like to present my thesis presentation with the title, The Accounting Students' Perceptions Towards the Implementation of CSR in Fast Food Industry in Penang, Malaysia. Fast food industry that are included in this thesis is McDonald and KFC. I would also like to thank my thesis advisor, Dr. Yuli Henry Yeni, for helping me in finishing my thesis. And my name is Fitri Pumatasari and I'm from International Accounting Department. There are five topics that will be discussed in this uh, presentation. The first one is introduction, then literature review, research methodology, result and analysis, and conclusion. Chapter one. Chapter one include research background, research question, research objective, research benefit, writing systematic. Research background. Recent global financial crisis has highlight, highlighted the need for organization to concentrate more on long-term growth and profitability, which means this includes the well-being of the organization's financial performance and the effect on the customer society. One of the ways to concentrate more on long-term growth and profitability is by integrating CSR in agenda. However, to implement a good CSR practices require a proactive management approach who morally and ethically employs, which also meant by to the day students. Thus, accounting students are specifically chosen as they learn about CSR in the subject and they also understand what CSR meant. While fast food is chosen because nowadays students prefer to hang out in fast food restaurant more than staying indoors when they have free time. Also, previous research focused more in North America and management student and business student. No studies were done in accounting student or in the Southeast Asia, including Malaysia, regarding this topic. Next is research question. For accounting students, we have two research questions. The first one, are there any differences in the perception of accounting students on the implementation of CSR to customer in McDonald's and KFC? And the second one, are there any differences in the perception of accounting students on the implementation of CSR to society in McDonald's and KFC? Next is gender. There are also two research questions on gender. The first one, are there any differences in the perception of accounting student based on gender on the implementation of CSR to customer in McDonald's and KFC? The second one, are there any differences in the perception of accounting student based on gender on the implementation of CSR to society in McDonald's and KFC? Next is academic years. Are there any differences in the perception of accounting students based on academic years on the implementation of CSR to customer in McDonald's and KFC? And lastly, are there any differences in the perception of accounting students based on the academic year on the implementation of CSR to society in McDonald's and KFC? Next is research objective. Research objective also have three uh, topics yeah, and each topic has uh, two objectives. The first one is to investigate the differences in the perception of accounting students on the implementation of CSR to customer in McDonald's and KFC. The second one is to investigate the differences in the perception of accounting students on the implementation of CSR to society in McDonald's and KFC. For gender is the research objective is to identify the differences in the perception of accounting student based on gender on the implementation of CSR to customer in McDonald's and KFC. And second is to identify the differences in the perception of accounting student based on gender on the implementation of CSR to society in McDonald's and KFC. And for academic years is to evaluate the differences in the perception of accounting students based on academic years on the implementation of CSR to customer in McDonald's and KFC. And lastly, is to evaluate the differences in the perception of accounting student based on academic years on the implementation of CSR to society in McDonald's and KFC. Research benefit. There are three main research benefits. The first one for the academic. For the academic, uh, the researcher hope 
this thesis could be used as a reference for consideration and input in implementing CSR in curricula, which later help the students in shaping ethically and morally mindset. And for organization, the author or the researcher hope that this thesis will be used as a material consideration for an organization to apply CSR agenda in their long-term goals, which this can help the organization to boost their performance and upgrade the image of the, the organization in the eyes of stakeholders. Next is future researchers. For future researchers, the author hope that uh, this thesis will provide a new insight into researchers' knowledge and understanding on how students perceive CSR in fast food industries in Asia. Writing systematic. The first one is introduction, then literature review, then research methodology, research analysis, and conclusion. Chapter 2. In Chapter 2, we will talk about corporate social responsibility, fast food industry, perception of students towards CSR, previous research, and theoretical framework. Corporate social responsibility. What is corporate social responsibility? Corporate social responsibility is a voluntary step taken by the company to resolve its business activity, including economics, society, and environment with their stakeholders. The only way for organizations to answer a long-term sustainability is by understanding both economic and non-economic needs of the organization. CSR mostly relies on the power of manager or employees' decision-making. The way these managers or employees embracing CSR in the organization will show how the companies are responsible towards the action to their surrounding. Thus, to apply a good CSR practices, an ethical and morally employees are needed. So, in other words, today's students need to be exposed with CSR knowledge and concern. Fast food industry in Malaysia. American franchise company has taken over Malaysia's fast food retail, such as McDonald's and KFC, and they are the top two favorite fast food restaurants in Malaysia. Usually, there are eight CSR system commonly applied, which is health and safety, animal welfare, biotechnology, community, environment, financial performance, and procurement. However, CSR in fast food industry are viewed in a different angle. For example, Malaysian consumers are more concerned about the origin of the material use. Since Malaysia is dominated with Muslim, halal foods become the most important aspect before choosing restaurant to eat. So this means that in order the fast food to, uh, to integrate CSR, they need to include where the origin of the material is used whether the origin is halal or not. Next is students' perceptions towards CSR. Given that CSR is a growing concern, the expectation of future employees, which is today's students, are essential as economic education is becoming a significant component. Martin and Moon insisted that one of the primary obligation is to provide the student with CSR knowledge and concerns. Students who are equipped with CSR knowledge and concerns are more ethical and morally prepared in handling any decision making. Factors that can influence students' perception towards CSR are, have many, but in this thesis, there are three, which is major, which is what courses they are taking, their gender and their academic years, or also known as their age. Previous research, as you can see, there are uh, there are many researchers that have been has researched about this uh, topic. However, there are no upgraded or any new update be, uh, started from two thousand ten, and the only news updated was in two thousand seventeen, where where Patari and Patari and their fellow researchers updated about the academic year. This is the theoretical framework. As you can see, there are 10 theoretical framework as we use the, uh, an independent sample t-test to evaluate each one of these variables. Chapter 3. In Chapter 3, we will discuss about research methodology, which includes research design, 
population and sample, method of collecting data, and data analysis. Research design. This research is a quantitative statistical study. Population and sample, the uh, population of and sample of the study are accounting students who consume or use McDonald's and KFC products or services. Sources of data, there are two sources of data. The first one is primary, which came from the questionnaire. The second one is from the secondary, which is from previous research. The variable in the study are accounting students, accounting student based on their gender, accounting student based on their academic year, CSR to customer and CSR to society. Data analytical, there are three data analysis. The first one is descriptive statistical. Second one is classical assumption test. And the third one is independent sample t-test, which is used for hypothesis testing. Chapter four, which is result and analysis. In this chapter, there are two main topics that will be discussed. The first one is research overview and the second one is analysis result. Research overview. As you can see from all, all of the respondents, they are 30% of male and 70% of male. And the age is 25 to 30%, 30 years old are 33% and 67% are 19 to 24 years old. There is there are four races in this uh, research. The first the majority is Malay is 72% followed by Chinese 19%, Indian 8%, and others are 1%. Then religion. The most religion, the majority religion is Islam with 73%. Then Christianity with 11%, Hinduism and Buddhism, both of them has 8%. For type of university, there are 51% of the respondents are from private university and 49% are from government. Educational level. The mostly of the respondents are from degree and only 11% of them are from diploma. Academic year. The most stood, the most respondent are, came from the third year, which is 36%, followed by second year, 32%, and fourth year, 25%, and the first year is 7%. They're spending per month. Averagely, the respondent usually spend their money from 1,000 to 2,000 per month, which is equals to 40% as in this pie chart. The second group is 2,000 to 3,000. The, the third group is more than 3,000 and less. And the last group is less than 1,000. Next is, does the respondent understand what is CSR when they answer this questionnaire? Most of them understand the CSR but only 36 of them do not understand CSR. Number of visit to McDonald's and KFC. As you can see, there are darker blue and light blue. The darker blue means McDonald's and the light blue means KFC. As you can see, every day, there are three people or there are three percent of the respondent go to McDonald's every day. However, for once a week, KFC, um, there are more respondents go to KFC compared to McDonald's. But for, for two or three times a week, there are more people go to McDonald's compared to KFC. Next is perceptions toward current global environment and social issues. As you can see, air pollution, climate change, and extinction are the most top three major current global environment and social issues that are picked by the respondent. This shows that the respondent aware that our earth is having some current global environment and social issues. Descriptive analysis, perception of CSR. As you can see, the mean for CSR to customer is two, in MACD is 2.71 and KFC is 221.64. While the standard deviation is 2.434 and for KFC is 2.650. For CSR to society, mean for McDonald's is 46.43 and the standard deviation is 5.020. And for KFC is 23.64 and the standard deviation is 2.650. Then this is for perception of CSR based on gender. As you can see, 
for a McDonald, the female mean is 21.86 and the male is 21.63. And the standard deviation for female is 2.317 and the standard deviation for male is 2.723. For KFC, the female shows the mean is 21.71 and the male is 21.47. While for the standard deviation is 2.538 and the male is 2.933. Says R to society based on gender. Uh, for McDonald's, the female shows that 21.96 for the mean and male is 21.43. For standard deviation is 2.060 for the female and the male is 2.569. For KFC, the female shows that 21.64 for the mean and the male is 21.23. The standard deviation is 2.113 and 2.712. Says R to customer based on academic year. In this study, we only focus more on fourth year and first year. So, uh, McDonald. For so CSR to customer for McDonald's, the mean for fourth year is for 21.48 and the standard deviation is 2.064. The first year is 19.40, which the standard deviation is 2.734. While for the KFC, the first year is 21.28 and the first year is 18.57 for the mean and the standard deviation is 2.337 and 3.047 for the first year. While CSR to society based on academic year for McDonald is the fourth year has 21.96 and the first year has 20 only for me. And the standard deviation is 1.369 for fourth year and the first year is 4.726. For KFC, the fourth year has 21.92 for the mean and 19.71 for first year. Y standard deviation is 1.382 for the fourth year and the first year is 4.889. Classical assumption test. In this uh, thesis, we I use normality test which is used with Kolmogorov similarity test. As you can see, the test distribution is normal. Hypothesis testing in this research, I we, I use independent sample t test as I want to see the differences between uh, two variables. As you can see, for the perception of accounting students to CSR to customer and CSR to society, is lower than 0 0.05, which means the hypothesis is accepted. The second one is perception of accounting student based on gender towards CSR to customer and CSR to society as the result from significant two tail shown, the significant value is more than 0 0.05. Thus, the hypothesis is rejected. The third one is in a uh, perception of accounting student based on academic years towards CSR to customer and CSR to society. As you can see, significant value is less than 0 0.05. Thus, it is accepted the hypothesis. Next is chapter 5. In chapter 5, we will discuss about the conclusion. In conclusion, there are three topics that will be discussed. The first one is conclusion, then limitation, and then suggestion. The first conclusion is there are differences on perception of accounting students on the implementation of CSR to customer and CSR to society in Bednoda and KFC. The second one is there are no differences on the perception of accounting student based on gender on the implementation of CSR to customer and CSR to society in McDonald and KFC. The third one is there are differences on the perception of accounting student based on academic years on the implementation of CSR to customer and CSR to society in McDonald and KFC. There are four limitations in this uh, thesis. The first one is questionnaire distributed online. So the, the researcher do not know whether the respondent understand or not with the questions. The second one is only 100 questions can be processed, which this shows this do not show the whole accounting student. The third one is only gender and academic year variable tested. The fourth one is limited students to in Penang Island only. So this is my recommendation. The first one is direct survey such as interview. It would be better if this research is conducted in interview. 
so that they are more accurate and precise. The second one is uh, increase the number of respondents. The third one, more variable tested, such as race, religion, spiritual, work experience, and many more. The fourth one is bigger scope of population. If you if you are able to ask the ask the student, it would be better if not only in Penang but outside in Penang also, if possible, whole Malaysia. Then that's only. Thank you for a lovely session. I hope you forgive me if there's any mistake. Thank you.